In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the pitch of your audio right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and we've got some footage sitting on our timeline in a brand new sequence, we can go ahead and we can just have a look at what we've got on the timeline. Our job. Lighting is really important because not only does it help to act so there you go, that is the video that I'm using. It's a previous video talking all about hair lights, but I want to increase the pitch just a little bit. So in order to do this, we want to go to effects and we're going to search for pitch shifter. So P-I-T-C-H shifter. Now there's two types of pitch shifter. We've got pitch shifter obsolete and then we've got pitch shifter. Select the one without obsolete. This is the old version of the plugin. So we'll drop pitch shifter onto our audio. Then we'll go into pitch shifter and select edit. Now, if we go into our presets, we've got some very silly presets here. So we've got angry gerbil. Add light into our scene to correctly expose our images. Now, that's of course really too high. So now we're gonna go down to deathly ill. But it can also manipulate the feeling, the mood and the emotion of- Now this is basically bringing the voice down just enough for it to sound a little bit off. We'll move down to stretch. Images. Now the stretch effect is really useful if you want to hide the identity of someone's voice, if you want to muffle their voice, because as you can tell, you can't tell that that's me talking. Now that preset is really useful, but if we move down to the Dark Lord, another silly one. That doesn't sound too dissimilar to the previous one, but again, that sounds completely different and has completely changed the sound of my voice. But we'll reset this back to zero. So we'll select default and we'll go down to semitones and sense. Now, essentially with these two sliders, if you pull them to the left, it's going to decrease the pitch. So it's going to make me sound deeper. And if you pull them to the right, it's going to sound higher. So the squeakier and higher you want to go, you want to pull the slider over to the right. So I'm going to first begin by pulling the semitone slider all the way to the left. So we've got negative 12. And when we play this back. Now, of course, that sounds really creepy, but if that's the effect you're going for, there you go. That's how you do it. And then if you wanted to create the opposite to that, you wanted a really high pitched audio, then we pull this all the way to plus 12. So we pull that all the way to the right. And when we play this back. Of course though, you don't have to be so extreme with these. You can just pull these up, maybe a stop. So we'll go up to one. A highlight is basically, as it sounds, is a light that is gonna catch the back of your head and illuminate your hairline. Now, of course, if it sounds a little bit weird, then you can always just adjust it by offsetting the now, sense. why do we need to do this? A hair light is really important because it... Of course, it's completely up to you. Play around with these two sliders and create an audio effect that you're happy with. But that is how you change the pitch of your audio right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.